drama unfolding here is nothing compared to the terror that's about to be unleashed outside. And it's all captured on video. Yes, sir. We were listening to one of the witnesses, and all of a sudden we heard some bangs from out on the street. Rapid-fire gunshots, fear and confusion in the courtroom, and TV cameraman Chris Howe suddenly realizes he's in the middle of an even bigger story. It took me about 10 seconds before I figured out, holy smokes, this is a gun battle. Roll tape now. To prevent the accused from escaping in the chaos, a bailiff grabs him and takes cover. Hysteria sets in as automatic rifle fire strafes the building from the street below. It's just like a cannon. It's like pow, pow, pow. It rang throughout the entire square. Outside on the courthouse steps, Maribel Estrada and her 23-year-old son, David Arroyo Jr., try desperately to reach the safety of the building. Maribel is here hoping to resolve issues from an ugly divorce that's left her ex-husband, David Arroyo, enraged. Just inside the entrance, the courthouse security camera records what happens next. That's Arroyo, approaching on the right. Suddenly, he opens fire with an AK-47 assault rifle. Maribel and her son fall just outside the doors, cut down by bullets. Arroyo continues to shoot at anyone he sees, as several officers attempt to stop him, armed only with handguns. One by one, they come courageously forward. And one by one, David Arroyo mows them down. Upstairs, cameraman Chris Howell ventures from the courtroom into a corridor to videotape the shooting. I saw two bystanders come running up the stairwell from the first floor, and the look on their face was extremely distressed. I took maybe another step, and I heard more gunfire, bang, 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 bang. And that's the point where, you know, I reached my own personal fear level. Fearing for his life, Howell ducks back into the courtroom. On the street, a Arroyo reloads, and the gun battle continues. The outgun cops desperately radio headquarters for backup. Sergeant Rusty Jacks, an expert marksman, grabs his rifle and races seven blocks to the courthouse. When I got out of my truck, there were people laying on the ground everywhere. There was just a lot of fear and panic everywhere on the square. It was just obviously mass chaos. With hundreds of innocent lives at risk, Jack knows exactly what he has to do. My goal was to get into a position where I could see him and engage him with my rifle. He jumps up on the hood of a passing patrol car, knowing he might only get one shot. I didn't want to be inside of a vehicle whenever we did find him, thinking that we would ride around the corner and basically be pretty much on top of him at that point. But he's too late. Arroyo has reached his red pickup truck, and he's making a desperate escape. Jack scrambles into the patrol car and joins the pursuit. First through the streets of Tyler, then onto the highway, reaching dangerously high speeds. I knew most of those units were single-man units, and most of them probably didn't have a rifle or a shotgun in the car. But Jack's does. A Colt Command AR-15 rifle, designed for sharpshooting. I knew that I had the equipment to deal with the situation. If I could ever get in a position where I could see and get a clear shot at David Arroyo. Suddenly, a patrol car driven by Deputy Sheriff John Smith speeds past and closes in on Arroyo's truck. Arroyo opens fire on Smith, who returns fire before rear-ending. Arroyo jumps out, enraged. And Sergeant Jack sees the opening he's been waiting for. David Arroyo's reign of terror is over, ended by a fatal shot to the back of the head. 